On the 1st of May last year, that's 2020, this channel was monetized and I managed to grow the earnings from $575 in the first month to over $11,500 a month just 12 months later. That's a growth of around 1,900% in earnings in just 12 months. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it and what I learned so that you can use that information yourself to grow your own YouTube channel and build an online income. Now, if you've not been to the channel before, then welcome. My name's Paul Miles, and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it, and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So as I said, this channel was monetized last year on the 1st of May. And if we look at the graph here, in May 2020, the income from YouTube ads for this channel was $333.50 and we can see that it rises steadily, levels off a little bit from September for a few months, but then increases until April here where we have a monthly income from YouTube ads alone of $7,319.72. We can see that the income gradually increased over the last 12 months. It leveled off at about September, but from January onwards, it started to increase quite markedly. Now, part of this could be due to what they call the network effect, because a lot of people do report that their channel experiences episodes of exponential growth. But I also implemented a few changes at the beginning of this year, which I think will account for some of that aspect of channel growth, which we'll come to um, a bit later in the video. Now, when making money with YouTube, there are two important components to consider. One is the monetization and, and the different ways that you can make money with a channel. And the other is the channel growth, and that is increasing the view time, which comes along with increasing the number of subscribers. So first of all, we're gonna look at the ways of monetizing your channel. Some of these I do, and some of these I don't yet. Now, the first and probably most common way of monetizing a channel is with ads. And you get those ads on your channel by signing up for the YouTube Partner Program. And you've got to meet a couple of thresholds in order for those ads to appear. One of them is 1,000 subscribers, and the other is 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, I met the 1,000 subscriber mark around about the end of March last year. And then when I looked at my view time, I estimated it would probably take another six or seven months to get up to 4,000 hours. But I met that threshold just a month later because as your subscriber count increases, so does your view time quite rapidly. Now, when you do sign up for the program and your ads appear, you get paid for those ads that appear at the beginning of the video, often during the middle and sometimes at the end. Now, advertisers pay for those adverts to appear. And then Google AdSense, who administer the ads, then take 50% of that and about 50% goes to the, the channel owner. Now, the amount you get paid really depends on the, the niche or subject area of your channel. Now, they say on average that most channels earn about two uh, to four dollars for every uh, 1,000 views. Now, some niches like mine, you get paid a lot more. So niches in the personal finance market, um, investing, money, online business, that type of thing, tend to get paid a lot more because advertisers are willing to pay more for their ads to appear on, the, on those sorts of channels. Now, if you had a channel like a prank channel, then you may only get something like 50 cents or $1 for every 1,000 views. Now, I think for, for this channel, I often get somewhere between 12 to $15 in revenue per thousand views. Now, one of the other ways of making money with a channel, and this can be very lucrative uh, indeed, is by selling products. Now, often this should be something of, of use to the viewers that are watching your channel. And these could be things like a course, a merch, things like t-shirts, hoodies, selling software. I actually, on my channel, sell lists of keywords in my Gumroad shop. And I make around about somewhere between eight to $1,000 a month. And that's just from selling lists of keywords. But these provide value to the people that watch my videos because keywords are essential for people to rank their books, make sales on Amazon and make money. So they are of value. 
So in order to uh, make money from selling products, you do need to create something of value that's gonna provide value to your viewers. Now, one of the other common ways of making money is with affiliate sales. Now, what are affiliate sales? Well, this is commission you get from selling someone else's products. Now, I do it for tools that I use regularly to publish books and that I think people that watch my channel would benefit from. And so this is things like Creative Fabrica that sells graphics and fonts, um, Book Bolt, uh, Publisher Rocket and Helium 10 that sell tools that help people, again, get their books seen on Amazon and also helps them to make sales. Now, I like to think of affiliate sales as being two types. One is the, the where you get money from making a single sale. And the most common form of this that appears on a lot of channels is Amazon. So that, you know, in the description of a video, there might be a link to a product on Amazon. If someone clicks on that link, goes to Amazon and buys it, then the, the, the owner of that channel will get a small percentage. Now this usually ranges from about three to 4%. And obviously some types of channels can benefit benefit more from this than other types of channels. So for example, if you're in the photography niche, you've got all sorts of things that you can advertise on your channel, you know, photography gear, lighting, lenses, all high ticket items, which will bring in decent, um, decent amount of uh, commission. Now this is particularly good around Christmas time because when someone clicks on one of those Amazon links, the cookie for that link stays on the person's computer for 24 hours. So that if they buy anything within 24 hours of clicking on that link, um, the channel owner will still get that commission. So you find that around uh, Christmas, the holiday period, people may click on a link, may not actually buy what you're promoting, but may go on to buy, you know, a whole basket full of Christmas presents for which you'll still get a percentage of the sales of those items. So that's pretty good. But the best is those um, affiliate items that give you recurring sales. So these can be things like subscriptions or, or membership uh, plans. Now, I make in total from affiliate sales on my channel, again, around about the, the two to $3,000 a month mark. And most of them are from subscriptions. Now, the benefit from a subscription model is that uh, people you know, when they pay for the subscription each month, you get a small percentage of that. But as each month goes by and more people take out subscriptions, this income grows and grows each month. And it's, it's a way that big businesses uh, have actually made lots and lots of money. Now, I remember years and years ago reading a newspaper article about a company called Carphone Warehouse in the UK. Now, I just thought they made their money from selling mobile phones. But when I read this article, I realized that that actually wasn't their business. They made all their money from the cell phone plans. So they were getting a percentage of the subscription fee from those different plans. And of course, as more people were buying phones, more people taking out different plans, their income was just increasing month by month and was becoming huge. And also with things like cell phones, people will keep those subscriptions going for, for years, if not a lifetime, because the pain of stopping those subscriptions is quite high. Now I'm gonna cover this, I think, in another video about different types of recurring uh, affiliate subscriptions that are out there, uh, and some are better than others due to the, what they call the, the pain of, of stopping or canceling the subscription. Now one of the other ways of making money with YouTube, again, which is quite common, and you've probably seen this particularly with ads for Squarespace and Skillshare. And again, these should be products that are aligned with your, your niche or your audience. I mean, you do see videos where channel owners do promote products that have nothing to do with the channel. And I don't think that's a particularly good idea. Now, I don't do this. I haven't been approached with by anyone um, to do sponsored videos with uh, products that I actually use myself because I wouldn't want to promote products that I don't have experience with or I don't think people would um, uh, have any use with. Probably the only one that's most common is Skillshare because I use Skillshare regularly um, and I think it's, it's a huge benefit for people learning any sort of skill. But anyway, that, that's on a side note. Now the next thing, and, and the last one in this list, there are others, but the, these are just the main ones. But the next thing would be making money from coaching, consulting and speaking gigs. Now, I do get asked about coaching, but as a solopreneur, 
I really don't have the time for, for doing one-on-one -on -one work. Now with doing a channel, like this YouTube channel, and hopefully in the near future doing a course, it's a way that I can reach more people at once and, and that's where my focus lies at the moment. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there is one more other way of, of earning money with a channel and that's with um, membership programs and that's similar to, to products. Um, you sell your own membership programs and, and that also will provide a, a recurring monthly income. So now let's get on to the growth of the channel. Now this is vital for earning money um, with a YouTube channel. And these are the things that I learned and I did that I think saw my channel grow over the last year from um, 1,000 to around about 42,000 subscribers and also increase the income from the channel. Now we can see that over time, if we look at the, the views from the 1st of May onwards, you can see here that it slowly increased. Then over the last four or five months has started to increase quite significantly. And that goes for the same with the revenue. That sort of follows on a similar line to the number of views. And you can see there that over the 12, last 12 months, this channel has earned $27,385. Now again, this wouldn't happen without you guys, for which I'm eternally grateful because without um, you all watching this channel, this just wouldn't happen. So how did I go about growing the channel? What did I learn, which I think could help you guys. Well, first of all, the biggest thing that stops people from making money with YouTube is that they don't even start a channel. Now, I procrastinated for around 10 years um, before I actually started this channel. That's 10 years of lost opportunity. And you could be asking yourself, if you don't start, you could be asking yourself the same question in one, two years or more, you know, why didn't I start back then? So my first piece of advice is just do it. Just do it! I decided on the 1st of January last year that I was going to commit to creating regular videos and really building this channel and making something of it. Now, what I did was I decided to concentrate on a niche. Now, when I first started on the 1st of January last year, I did sort of random videos, wasn't particularly focused on anything. But in February, I decided to concentrate on something I knew, which I knew would help a lot of people, and that was making money publishing uh, no content and low content books on Amazon. And from then, I could see my views and subscriber rate really started to increase. Now, if you decide to pick a niche, which I suggest you do, you should really be interested in it and find it fun because you're going to have to create quite a lot of posts and come up with ideas for videos. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with maybe at the start for the first month or so, trying out different things, trying out different subject areas. It's what a lot of YouTube YouTubers do, even a lot of successful YouTubers, that's what they, that's how they started. And then find something that is getting a bit of traction, something that you enjoy and something that you can continue doing. Now, biggest piece of advice, post regularly. When I first started, I said I was going to produce a video a day for the, for the next year. And I lasted about three or four days and it was just, I just couldn't do it because it was just too much hard work and, and very difficult to just keep coming up with something every day. If you're going to do something like a vlog, that might be more possible. So I went down to every other day and managed to keep that going for, for really to the end of 2020. And then I reduced my frequency, but there was a good reason for that, which I'll tell you about in a moment. Now, like any online business, keywords are important. And this is the same for YouTube. And those keywords are what people are searching for on YouTube. Now, YouTube is, I think it's still, I'm not sure if it's the biggest search engine out there, but I think it's second to Google. And people go to YouTube and search for things, you know, for, you know, to get their questions answered if they've got problems. And so you can use the YouTube search bar as an excellent tool for finding out what people are searching for and using those as your keywords uh, to base your video around and to use in the title and descriptions of your video. So you could have a niche like dog walking, for example. So you go along to the YouTube channel, put in dog walking, and then see what suggestions come up. And you might find things like how to make money dog walking, how to set up a dog walking business, how to, to walk a dog, that type of thing. And you can write these down in a spreadsheet. And that's exactly what I did. 
Now another component to making a successful channel are the thumbna thumbnails and titles, and these are vital. These are what gets people to click on your, your videos and start watching them in the first place. Again, keywords are important in the titles, as I've just mentioned. And what I did was looked at other YouTubers, um, looked at their titles and thumbnails. And I actually looked at some su successful YouTubers and created a spreadsheet and wrote down in that spreadsheet every single title of their videos that was in their channel and read through them and to see if there are any common uh, components there. Now I know um, copywriters do this, they'll write a whole list or keep a book full of different sorts of headlines and, and punchlines and they create what's called a swipe file which is a, basically a notebook full of these. So I suggest creating your own swipe file of YouTube titles. And also look at thumbnails of successful YouTubers because they've already put the work in and experimented on what works and look to see what are the com common components. Do they have people's faces in them? Well, what colours are they? What sort of fonts do they use? What sort of highlights on the fonts do they use? What sort of colours? So on that, thumbnails are vital. And one of the things I did and which I found very useful, was I subscribed to a, a tool called TubeBuddy, which I'll leave a link to below in the description if anyone's interested in using this. And one of the, the useful tools they've got in there is for A-B testing of thumbnails. So you can upload two thumbnails and it will automatically uh, apply one thumbnail for I think it's 12 or 24 hours, then apply the next thumbnail and it will analyze the, the click-through rate and average view duration and tell you which thumbnail is best. And I found some really surprising information, such as um, an image of me being larger on the thumbnail created more clicks than if I was a, a smaller image. Um, but, but I did this for all different components, you know, whether using numbers, the type of text, the position of the text, and colors. Now, something I did at the beginning of this year, which I think um, helped a lot in the growth of the, of the channel was creating captions for the video and having those captions translated to many different languages. I noticed in the, the YouTube dashboard there are a lot of people from many different countries and it tells you what the, the languages are of, of a lot of your visitors. So I thought, well, why not actually provide translations for those visitors? And using the Tube Buddy tool again, I also did translations of the titles and the descriptions according to where the, the, the viewer was from. And I noticed quite a significant increase in views and watch time during that time. Maybe it was a co coincidence, but I don't think so. Now, I think in order to get traction, in order to get viewers and subscribers and build a channel, I think it's also important to, to engage viewers now I try to answer all my comments I get on my YouTube channel and also uh, questions that people send me via Facebook and, and Instagram. And also part of that, which is another point, is be authentic. There is a saying that goes, people don't care what you know as long as they know that you care. And I think that's important. If you're, if you're authentic, it comes across in your videos and people consciously or subconsciously um, know that and then are attracted to to, to you and to, to coming back to your YouTube channel to watch more content that you produce. And probably the, the, the next biggest thing I did at the beginning of this year, which really, I think, contributed to the number of views and the number of the subscribers and growth and income was working on increasing the quality of the videos. And that includes the quality, uh, as I mentioned, the thumbnails, but also the quality of the sound, the quality of the video, and also um, I started scripting the videos more and doing more work beforehand to make sure I got the right information into the videos. The consequences of this were, were that it took a lot longer to create each video. So the frequency of my videos decreased, went down to about two a week, and over the past couple of months, it's just been one a week. I'm gonna try and increase that again to two a week. But surprisingly, the views didn't drop they actually increased and so did my subscriber count. So I think quality is extremely important. Now in general terms, when creating 
uh, YouTube channel, trying to make an income from it, and that goes for a lot of other online businesses, is learn, learn, learn. Watch other YouTubers. Two in particular that I watch, and I still watch, because I'm still learning, are those by Nick Nimmin and Think Media. They have excellent channels and give information for free. Yes, they sell courses, but you can learn all this for free on YouTube. You just gotta go there and search. And also, don't give up. Just, just push through. You're gonna have times when it's really difficult. You're gonna have times when you get disheartened. You know, you're looking at the views and they're not getting anywhere. You're not getting many subscribers. You know, sometimes they may even drop. But just think, the next video you create could be your breakthrough video, could be your viral video that sends your views and subscriptions or subscriber count through the roof. So don't give up. Give yourself a period of time. I said to myself, I'm gonna work on this channel for a year. I'm not gonna be bothered about a subscriber count or view count. Yeah, right, <laughs> um, that's almost impossible to do because you, you, you do get drawn into it. But I said that I, I, I don't mind if I'm not gonna earn any money or, or, or get anywhere, I'm just gonna keep creating videos. And I did that with my um, publishing business as well. I gave myself a year, I said I'm just gonna get my head down and work and then looked ahead to sort of three years and what were my goals for three years time. And what you'll find is you'll meet those goals a lot earlier than you think. Well, I certainly did. And when I watch other YouTubers online or, or, or videos about people that are creating online businesses, they say exactly the same and it's true. So just create, 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 upload, repeat. Try and ignore those subscriber counts and view counts because you know, they can be disheartening at time, but I know it's very hard to do. You do get drawn into it. So I hope you found that useful. There's a lot of information there, but thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. I hope you did get value from it. If you did, click the subscribe button and, and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, goodbye.